Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanathanari. Now we are the discussion topic, Factor Analysis. The Factor Analysis is a statistical method used to identify and model the underlying relationship between observed the variable by reducing the data into a smaller set of unobserved variables called the factors. It helps to explain the variability among correlated variables in terms of fewer independent factors. This method is widely used when there are yeah, many interrelated variables and the goal is to find the patterns or simplify the data set by identifying key factors. Type of factor analysis The explanatory factor analysis EFA used to explore the underlying structure of a set of observed variables without imposing a predefined structure. It is often applied when the researcher has no superior expectations about how many factors may exit. The confirmatory factor analysis CFA used to Test the hypothesis that the relationship between observed variables and their underlying latent factor are correct. This method is typically employed when there is an expected factor structure which is tested against the actual data. So, how factor analysis is worked? This method identified confirm the factor that can explain the correlations between the variables. The each observed variables is expressed in a linear combinations of common factor pulse unique variations error. The result of factor analysis include the factor loadings which indicate the strength and directions of the relationship between each variable and the factor. So the steps in factor analysis, data collections and preparations. The data set solid have multiple continuous variables. The correlations between those variables is checked the factor performing the factor analysis. So the second one step, step for the factor extensions. The number of factors to be extracted is determ determined using the method such as eigenvalues are a scar plot. Generally the factor which the eigenvalues greater than 1 are retained. After expectations, after extractions the factor can be rotated to improve the interpretability. The two main type of the rotations are orthogonal rotations, example the wear max. Assume that the factor are uncorrelated. So the second one rotations, the obliquely rotations example bro max allow for correlations factor. So interpretation of the factor, each factor is interpreted based on the variables that load highly on it. The variable which has high loading on a particular factor or throughout the measure similar underlying concern. Here, how can I define which method used to factor analysis in our data set? So the var max, the assume the factor are uncorrelated. If you believe or want to factor to be independent, example, they don't influence each other where max is appreciated. Interpretability where max simplifies the factor by maximizing the variations of squared loading, making it easier to interpret the result. Example variable are strongly associated with only one factor. So the second one the pro max. Assume the factor are correlated. If you the factor are expected to be the related example some underlying biological process must influence multiple trade or variables. Bromax is better. 
interpretability pro max allow factors to be correlated which may reflect more realistic understanding biological relationship so the step to decide where max vs pro max the check factor correlations the after running and initial explanatory factor analysis efa check the correlations between the factor if you correlations between the factors are close to zero when use where max if you the correlation are substantive example higher than 0.3 consider the pro max when to use the pro where max or pro max in biological data use where max when you expect the biological trade or variable to be independent for example in some ecological studies environmental gradients like soil moisture and nutrient availability must be uncorrelated so where max would be simplify the interpretation use pro max when in your biological data when the when you expect the factor to be related for example in genetic studies gene expression level should be correlated and using the pro max would better reflect the underlying the biological stimulative the uh, ecological data set for factor analysis variable explanations the site the located where the data was collected so the next the soil ph the ph level of the soil which influences the plant and microbial activity so the next on the soil moisture the percentage of water in the soil the next one variable for the nitrogen content milligram per kilogram amount of nitrogen in the soil crucial for the plant growth the phosphorus variable amount of the phosphorus another important in the nutrient the light intensity the amount of sunlight available at the site and plant biomass the total biomass of plant a measured of the productivity the species richness the number of different species present in the site so open the r studio software analyze to for the the ecological data set in r studio so this is r studio first imported to the our data set so go to the import data set button and click to the from excel and browse click to the browse button and select to the our data then click to the open then import so our data import next one for the import for the our coding file so open the file select to the factor analysis code in r so this is one of the important file this file used to analyze for the factor analysis in r studio so the first for the step to decide where max or pro max in our data set so the first of all install to the packages for the if necessary so install to the package so enter the command for the console section so install the package so next for the active for the package so enter the command for the library now active to the uh, packages so next one step for the perform a initial factor analysis without rotation using our example data set so now we enter to the command fa underscore result fa open the bracket our data name for the efa so this is for our data so our data already import so our data file name efa 
so enter our data selected comma so number of factors 3 rotate none enter now next one step for the check the factor correlations so enter the command this will show the correlation between the factors fe underscore result use dollar simple phi so null none is a zero so if you value in the uh, fa result p gets the close to zero use var max if our uh, value or modinator to high higher than 0 0.3 consider to the pro max so our value is a zero so choose for the var max method in our data set so the next one step for the step to perform the factor analysis in r so this is for the step one installed and loading record libraries so the packages and library already loaded in our uh, before the command so the go to the next step they prepared our data set ecological data set so enter the command data data frame and the, this is for the data set so enter to our uh, file name efa select to enter so enter selected our file then click to the enter next one result for at a view on our data set print data so enter the command print data So the printed the data in console section for the R Studio software. So the next one third step determine the number of factors. Run the principal compound analysis to assume the eigenvalues. So the this is for the command. So enter the command PCA lesson hyphen and principal. data comma number of factors 6 number of factors 6 comma rotate cc now enter to the uh, now identify to the where the factor value so the rotation don't add to the where max so add to the none So enter and next one for the print for PCA value. So the enter the command for the print to PCA with PCA dollar sum value. So enter the command print print PCA dollar simple and values. So the total of the Eigen value present in the PCA. So the next, if you then eigen values of the first few component are greater than one, based on the Geyser Cartesian, it suggests how many factor is rotation, rotating. So the greater than one value presented for the two uh, first two column, another also the less than uh, one. So the, our data set selected for the factors, number of factors is 2 and uh, rotated for the var max. So the next for the high uh, scare, scare plot to the help to determine the number of factors. So this is for the command. Enter the command plot PCA dollar simple values type 
बी सो द नेक्स्ट मेन स्कैर प्लाट सो वै लैब is equal to eigen values so the next one for the x lab is equal to factors click to the enter so the scar plot so this is for the scar plot in the pca value the first two compound the higher than one so our selected for the rotation uh, number of factors value for the two so another the five compound less than one so the four step perform the factor analysis with var max rotations Conduct the factor analysis using the var max rotation. Assume the two factor based on the previous steps. So the previous step selected for the number of factors selected the two. The because our the principal compound and eigen value higher than one. So the higher than one, greater than one selected for the number of factors in the our data set. So enter the command for. factor analysis the factor result f e open the bracket data select and number of uh, factors 2 because the eigen value higher than 1 so selected for the number of factor 2 so number rotation is a var max rotate is var max so next one command for the print the factor analysis result so this is for the command enter to the print f a underscore result so this is for the factor analysis result in the r studio software so now visualization of the our factor analysis so enter the command this is for the command print uh, plot factor loadings fea dot diagram and the fea underscore result so this is for the factor analysis diagram okay the mr1 and mr2 the mr2 present in the site and mr1 present to the another uh, seven variables the phosphorus moisture ph biomass species richness nitrogen and light intensity so the additional data for the how to selected for the rotation the var max or bro max in our data set and how to selected for the number of factor in our data set and uh, how to apply the factor analysis in biological data set the three concept uh, the post upload for our blacker site that uh, link mentioned to the this video description box if you any doubt on this uh, sections read me the blacker post and another doubt for analyzing in the r studio please post the comment in the comment box i will help you if you like this video please click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership thank you for watching this video